everybody, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with another project using my paper person kit. And this was the kit that is kind of all food themed. So I have this picture of a burger and fries from this amazing restaurant that we found in Big Bear, California. And so that's what I'm going to kind of talk about today. So the picture itself is just, you know, the meal and we're going to talk about um, my journaling is going to talk about finding this place to eat in Big Bear and having like the best burger ever. And so the the colors in the picture go really well with this particular kit. And so that's kind of why I decided to pull it out. So I am going to go ahead and cut some of the three by four cards that I can use um, in my layering. And then the one that's red, I'm going to actually use for my title and my journaling. So I'm not going to have a ton of journaling on this page. And I am totally okay with that because I don't have a ton to say. Um, for this particular photo or this particular story. So do make sure that you stop by and check out Sarah Scraps and Susanna Lee who are also sharing layouts today with this same paper person kit. These are our second videos with this particular kit. So you are going to soon see us switching to a new one which I'm always super excited about. So like I love playing with the current kit but then towards the end of the month, I'm like getting kind of excited to switch it up and play with something totally different. So I am going to use a little bit of this striped paper to kind of create almost like a frame um, along the vertical and horizontal that my photo can just kind of be boxed in by. So I am going to leave it like a floating type of frame. So it's just going to float in that little area. And that's not something that I've done on a lot of layouts lately, but I really like how it looks. So if you're struggling to get a little pop of pattern paper into your layout, this is a great strategy to try, especially if you are playing with striped paper, because it gives you all of those really great colors in like a small concentrated quantity. And then I have that blue grid card from the three by four cut apart that I've put in there as well as my journaling card. And so that's just sort of starting to help me create some layers. I added some pattern paper in that top left and then I'm going to take my punch and start playing with making some tabs. So I'm using the other blue 3x4 card as well as some of my other leftover pattern paper and just creating a bunch of little spaces where I can put tabs in. And these are going to form the like foundation of where my embellishment clusters are going to go. So I'm going to have one down with my journaling. I'm going to have one up on that top edge of the vertical strip of striped paper and then I have one kind of on that top left corner of my photo and those are going to kind of be my three areas that as I continue creating I'm going to build up as my embellishment clusters so even though there wasn't like a specific natural spot where the embellishments would have to be by adding in things like tabs and labels I can create spaces where it's naturally going to flow for your embellishment clusters to go. So if you're looking at a layout and you're like, hey, I can't figure out where my embellishment clusters would like work the best or I don't really have a foundation to put them on in specific spots, you can build one. So tabs, tickets, labels, all those kinds of things, pocket cards are kind of perfect starter foundation layers to be able to really build up an embellishment cluster. So as I'm going, I'm just adding more of those layers. So I had some circle labels. I had a couple of um, the rectangular labels. So I haven't really played a whole lot with the labels in this particular kit this month, which sort of made me laugh because if you remember last time the paper person kit had labels, I used all of them on the first layout. And so now here we are at the end of the month and I have almost all of the labels left, which is, you know, kind of funny. Um, I am going to take these P13 stickers and I'm going to add some of those to the centers of my labels and they fit perfectly inside those um, circle labels from the kit and this is a kit that I did kind of feel like I needed to add some extra embellishments to so you saw me in the first video kind of pull these things out so what I did was I just left the same embellishments I pulled for the first layout um, with my kit so that I would have them for this second layout and I found myself going back to them again because I did kind of feel like I needed those extra little embellishments with this particular kit. Part of that I think is because I'm also not really doing a lot with the stamps that are in the kit this time. And that's just a matter of they didn't particularly match up with the photos that I wanted to use. So I'm using these Vicki Booten Storyteller stickers and they are a perfect match in terms of the colors and kind of the feel that I'm going for. 
um, and they work really well in coordination with the P13 stickers as well. So you definitely don't have to stick within a collection. Dig through your stash, find what you have that might work well to kind of accent um, the kit you're playing with. I am not going to use the white letters that I had used last time and pulled out with this particular kit because I felt like they were going to get lost. So I went ahead and just went back to my stash and grabbed some black letters instead. And so I'm just going to fill out the word Fire Rock, which is the name of this particular restaurant. And I'm going to go ahead and overlap that onto this red card. Because I know I don't have a ton of journaling, I don't have a lot of things that I need to say on this particular layout, I am good with using up some of that journaling space to create my title. And I'm just doing a little like letter surgery there because I didn't have a K, so I am making my own K so that we have one. And um, I just kind of trim that down so that it looks like a natural K. So that letter surgery, you guys, it happens all the time around here. Um, are you guys the same way? Do you find yourself having to like take pieces of different letters and put them all together so you can make the letters you need? Because I don't know that there's like a magic recipe for the perfect sheet of letters. Because uh, I always seem to run out of something. Always seem to run out of something. All right, so I have some black puffy stars that I went ahead and added into my clusters as well. And I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that I want to get into those areas. I am going to go ahead and add my journaling on this card. Lots of you ask me about journaling. And yes, I always have journaling on my layouts. I just usually don't do it on screen. So I decided today to kind of force myself to do that just so that you guys can see. I do indeed have journaling on my pages. Um, but then I am also going to go back to my stash because I feel like I need just a few more little things. Like it just felt a little bit too flat. So I'm going to grab some puffy sticker phrases and I'm going to add those into that little area that I had in between Fire Rock, like the letters, and the Vicky Booten sticker. There was a little tiny space there and I felt like it needed something. So I added a couple of those little puffy stickers. And then I'm going to add some more little puffy sticker stars to each of my clusters. And those are just in black like they were before. They're just a little bit different sizes. And then I also grabbed some enamel dots that I felt like would match with the color scheme that I kind of have going on with this particular kit. And so I'm going to add three different colors of those little tiny ones into each of my embellishment clusters because three tends to be that like magic number that I go for. So if you watched, I added three stars. I added three enamel dots. I have the three triangles, um, like three embellishment areas. They all have a circle. So I really do try to keep everything kind of consistent that way. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a bolder black marker and just go ahead and go around the edges of my layout. And I do this quite often on my background just because I feel like it kind of finishes that layout and boxes everything in. So it looks like a like complete thought almost. And that's going to do it for this particular layout. So do make sure that you stop by and check out what Sarah Scraps has created today as well as the layout from Susanna Lee because both, uh, both of their pages are gorgeous too. And I will be back to see you guys again really soon. Bye, everybody.